everyone. Today I'm going to be making beef stew. I'm going to be using a boneless chuck beef, which is great for stew. I have two packages of the beef. I'm also going to be adding Portuguese sausage, which is called Shuris. I called the company Gaspers. They're here in Massachusetts, and Mr. Gasper assured me that this product is gluten-free. I placed the beef into a bowl. I put salt, freshly ground black pepper, onion, and garlic powder to taste, and then I sprinkle with just a little bit of brown rice flour, which is gluten-free. You can also use the gluten-free white rice flour. If you're not gluten-free, just use regular wheat flour. Now I'm going to brown this in a pan that's been heating up with some oil. I realize that most people don't put shudis in their beef stew. This is just a personal preference. If you don't know what shudis is or never had it, you can leave it out. My mom was 100% Portuguese and she always put shudis in our beef stew and pot roast. So I am so thrilled to know that Gaspers is gluten free and I can keep with the tradition of adding shudis to my stew. What I like to do is bring the water to a boil and simmer. This will help release some of the fat from the shudis. While my meat is browning, I'm going to slice up one large onion and slice up some button mushrooms. After my beef is browned, I removed it to another pan. Obviously, it's not fully cooked at this point. You can still see some red on the inside. I'm going to use the same pan to cook the mushrooms and onions. I clean my mushrooms by taking a paper towel and wiping off the dirt. Some people say to rinse them under water. Other people say absolutely don't use water. So the paper towel method works good for me. Sorry for the steam, guys. Once the onions and mushrooms are done, I added some garlic and let that cook for about one minute. I simmered the shitties for 15 minutes. I sliced it, put it in with the beef. I'm now going to add all the meat to the onion and mushroom mixture. Toss the meat in. I have my burner up on high. I'm now going to add one cup of red wine. There's a lot of drippings happening at the bottom of the pan that I want to savor those flavors. So the wine will help deglaze the pan. I'm going to let this cook down for a couple minutes till the wine is cooked. The wine has cooked off. I'm now going to add some beef base. I'm going to start off with six cups. So I'll be adding potatoes and carrots and celery later. I'm going to bring this to a boil and then simmer it on low for a couple of hours. I'm going to be adding baby carrots and sliced celery first. Then I will add the potatoes. I'm going to be using small red potatoes. I absolutely love red potatoes, but you can use any type of potato of your choice. I let my meat simmer for a good two hours. I originally started off with six cups of beef stock and I added an additional three cups. Add as much liquid as you would like. So I'm going to start off by cooking the carrots and celery first because they take a little bit longer and then I'll add the potatoes. After the carrots and celery simmered for a half an hour, I added the red potatoes. These are small, I just cut them in half. I'm now going to let that cook until all the vegetables are cooked and then I'll thicken it up. I just checked my vegetables, they're all done. I added some dried parsley leaves. I'm now going to thicken it up using a cornstarch slurry. All the cornstarch slurry is is just cornstarch and water. I'm now going to mix it in, stir it around until it gets to the right consistency that I like. This is the consistency that I like the soup. Make it as thick or as thin as you like. As you can see, this soup has a beautiful dark color. I did not add any gravy master to the soup. This is just all natural from deglazing the pan, getting all the drippings in with the soup. So I'm going to have to let this cool because I just tried a potato and I burnt my mouth. It is so hot, but it tastes delicious. I'm serving my soup with Brazilian cheese rolls. I'm going to put a recipe up later on how to make them. Sometimes I'll put green peas in my soup at the last minute, but I didn't have any today. 
This is a really hearty soup. It's great on a winter's day. Dinner served.